So in this video, we are going to install Flutter in our machine. So as you can see, I'm using a Windows machine. Um, but mostly, you know, the, the installation for Flutter on Windows or iOS or Chrome OS is mostly the same. And it's very, very easy installation. So let's head out to flutter.dev. And depending on the machine you are using, Windows, Mac OS or Linux, and even if you are using the Chrome OS, uh, you can, you know, they have the very uh, fair documentation how to get installed. So in this case, I'm using a Windows 10 uh, Microsoft Surface laptop here. So first thing is, uh, I'm going to choose the Windows here. As you can, you know, you can browse through the requirements like you just need to have Windows 7 and I believe like most of the computer nowadays they have like Windows 7 and if you have a 64-bit machine that's even better uh, all you need to do download this Flutter SDK so I'm going to download this Flutter SDK and once you download it you have to extract that unzip this Flutter now one thing to keep in mind when you unzip it do not keep that in your in your C program files or if you are you on a Mac OS machine don't put it on a user directory so take any other directory so for example um, as you can see I, I tend to have like you know all my programs uh, are executables in I create one directory inside my Amitale so for example as you can see I use VS code or Anaconda or R or you know Android Studio node everything I keep in under program so good pro practice to you know to keep uh, you know track of all your executables so all you need to do what I have done extract these things um, uh, everything out there that's all you need to do to do the flutter installation sorry not that's all there's one more step like now let's go back to the documentation next thing you have to do you have to set up the path so if you are on the windows machine or you know the, uh, you are on a chrome os or linux or a mac os machine all you need to do you have to set up the path so uh, in my case as you can see i install this in this path c program flutter bin so make sure that you see the Flutter executable here. All you need to do, copy this and add it to your uh, system environment variables here. Right, next step is, so you open a command prompt window on your or a terminal window or Mac OS or command prompt window on the Windows machine. I'm using a VS code. So I'm just going to do the control J and open the command prompt window here. Let me make it a little bigger. The first command you want to run here is uh, to make sure that, you know, it can uh, see where the Flutter is installed. Just do the Flutter hyphen FN version. So it should come back saying, okay, the Flutter version is installed. Uh, one thing I highly recommend because, you know, ultimately I'm going to make uh, also make a web app out of this. So make sure that your Flutter version is 1.5.4 plus depending on the uh, you know when you are watching this video i have the, i think there's a fair chance that you will have a version higher than this so as long as you have this that's pretty much it that's all you need okay next thing i want you to do here just say flutter doctor so it's a very nice command what it does is going to check inside your machine that whatever the flutter dependency is required it will come back and saying okay this is installed and what else you need to install now while we are waiting now, if you are using a VS Code or IntelliJ, so I highly recommend you should use uh, Android Studio number one. But that's your obvious choice. But if you are not uh, using Android Studio like I am not, I'm using a VS Code editor. The next thing you want to do here, go to VS Code extension and search for an extension called Flutter. So all you need to do, once you see this Flutter uh, extension, you need to install that. In my case, I have already installed that, so I don't need to do this again. One thing keep in mind, when you do the Flutter installation, it's also going to install uh, one more extension called Dart. So let me show you. Okay, let me go back here. I think I need to get rid of this. So as you can see, dot dot comes like you know you don't need to separately install it. As soon as you know install the Flutter, is going to install this thunder dot here. Okay. If you are using uh, uh, you know VS Code, I want to quickly show you one more setting here. So if you go to the settings, B. So you can see the last two things make sure that you have this uh, set up you know you you have these variables set up properly that you know dot dot flutter sdk path and make sure that it points to the directory where you have extracted the flutter chip and second thing is optional but i highly recommend you should do that dot dot sdk path and make sure that you have this setting what this is going to do the you know especially for vs code you know you that's why you know your vs code will know how to process your dart files and you can also you know copy this set settings to your workspace settings this again is optional but i highly recommend you do that so this for it's for the vs code now let's go back to the command prompt window and let's see you know android studio 
as you can see i do not have this in my machine but i highly recommend that you should have android studio and if you are planning to build an ios app then you should be having xcode and you should be using the mac os in my case i am going to use a flutter web version of this one and we'll cover that in cover that in later part of the video uh, so i think i am fine i don't even need android studio so and i will uh, you know i will just continue building for the web that the web version of the flutter web so uh, that i will cover in next section i hope like if you have any trouble in installation please feel free to though you know open an issue to my github repository and i'll be happy to help you out